to Stuff Lab, I'm Gwen. And I'm Marty. And today we are doing a fact about the Tasmanian Devil. Ooh, okay. Ooh. This was suggested a while ago in person by Dustin Blaze, so I don't have a pop-up, but thank you for your suggestion. We eventually got around to it. Eventually. Eventually. Key. All right, Marty, where do they live? Australia. Or Tasmania. So you're saying Australia? Uh. Or Tasmania? Yeah, Tasmania. Tasmania, not Australia? Mm, yeah, just Tasmania. You are correct. Okay. Uh, they used to populate the Australian mainland, but have been gone for around, I believe, 3,000 years. Oh, okay. Description. Characterized by its stocky and muscular build. So swollen. <laughs> Black fur with irregular white patches on the chest and body. A thick, mostly non-prehensile tail, about half the length of its body. They are quite stinky. Has a loud and disturbing screech. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> uh, do you want to guess how long they are? I really don't know that much about these guys. Oh. Um, yeah, I, I think I think they're like the same size as the honey badgers. So it'd be like maybe 24 inches long. Mm, well, the males are 25.7 with a 10.2 inch tail. Mm -hmm. And the ladies are a little smaller at 22 inches a 9.6 inch tail. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, males come in at 18 pounds. Well, they're thick. Yeah, and ladies come in at about 13 pounds. Okay, very muscular though. Oh yeah, diet! Oh, apparently dirt. <laughs> <laughs> it is so tasty. Dirt. They are known to be ferocious while they feed. They have the most powerful bite relative to body size in any, in, of any living mammalian carnivore with a bite force of how many newtons, Marty? Oh God, I, uh, I have no idea. 553 newtons, which is equivalent to 124.32 pound force. So something 25 inches long is going to bite you with 125 pounds. God. That's crazy, right? That would hurt. Yeah. Their jaws can open to 75 to 80 degrees. So just... Fit all kinds whack. of stuff in there. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's, uh, that's more like 90, but you know mm. what I mean. Close enough. Yeah. Uh, the devil can crush bones with its face and bite through thick metal wire. You, like crush bones with like, its face, like, like it headbutts them? Or no, like, it bites yeah. them? bites them. Okay, well, the way that it was worded was like, they can headbutt you so hard that it crushes bone. <laughs> I mean, depending on how That's weak you impressive. are, it could. Uh, and it can also bite through thick metal wire. Jeez. Devils have three pairs of lower incisors, three, and four pairs of upper incisors. So, I know this is just a hypothetical thing, mm -hmm. but like, who'd win the fight then versus a honey badger versus one of these guys? Cause like, I know. Marty, we've never done a fax on honey badgers. I know nothing besides that they can get bitten and beaten up and they still just well, go, well, F you and turn along. That's what, that's what I mean. Because like, they got all the loose skin. These guys can bite really hard. I don't know, be interesting. Well, eventually we'll do one on honey badgers <laughs> and we'll compare their stats. Yeah. So we're gonna continue with this and not the honey badger now. Yeah. Okay. They can take prey up to the size of a small kangaroo. They favor eating wombats because of ease of predation and high fat content. Uh, wallabies, batong, potaroos, ill sheep, ill rabbits, birds, fish, fruit, vegetable matter, insects, tadpoles, frogs, reptiles, and carrion. So basically anything that can get enough. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Fair enough. They will also eat garbage. Literally anything they can fit in their face. Do people live on Tasmania? I have no idea. Well, eating garbage and some of us, uh, tourists maybe? Yeah. Uh. Around humans, they will also steal shoes and chew on them. Like leather shoes. Devils are known to eat the digestive system first, as is the easiest thing to eat, and then live in the body cavity while they continue eating. Explain them being stinky. Yeah, that has nothing to do with it. Oh, they're just stinky. Yeah, they just have really stinky glands next to their bee holes. Yuck. So when they walk, their tail puts their scent on the ground. Yuck. Yeah. Predators, what do you think is a predator to them? Well, they're on Tasmania because they got kind of booted out. But I don't think that anything really followed them to Tasmania. So I don't I don't think they have actually any natural predators there. So maybe people. So we're saying people? Yeah. 
Well, also dogs, foxes, oh. cars. Uh, cars are a big problem. Oh, so because they eat, <clears throat> because they eat roadkill, they get hit and then themselves become roadkill. Mm. Uh, loss of habitat, which is also people, uh, disease, and the Tasmanian wedge-tailed eagle. Uh, it comp- it competes for food with the Tasmanian devil. Oh, okay. Breeding. They're not monogamous. The males fight over females and guard them to prevent infidelity during breeding season. Uh, gestation is three weeks. The female will give birth to how many young, Marty? Four to five? 20 to 30. Oh, Jesus, okay. But only has four nipples in her pouch, so not nearly that many Joey survive. You'd think that evolution would kind of sort out that problem. Either less pups, more nipples. <laughs> um, I think this makes it so only the really, really hardy survive. Only the strong survive. Newborns weigh around 0.2 grams. Little, little. Yes, that's grams. This is ounces. So very small. Young are ejected from the pouch at around 100 days and are independent after about nine months. Fully grown at two years old, they seldom live longer than five years in the wild. No. So not a lot of time. Not really, no. I mean, when you live their kind of lifestyle, I guess. Status, what do you think? Vulnerable or endangered, somewhere between there. Well, you have to pick one. Mm, There's nothing in between them. Endangered. You're you're picking endangered? Yep. You are correct. They've been endangered since 2008. Hmm, sad. Hmm. In 1941, devils became officially protected. There's an illness called uh, DFTD. Uh, would you like to try and figure out what it is? Uh, You'll never get it, but I think it would be very fun for you to guess. Uh, okay, so this is devil. Okay, yeah, okay, so, okay, I was guessing devil there. So, devil, uh, let's see here. Devil food trouble deaths. <laughs> this is disease. Devil food trouble disease. Food truck. They don't have inspections nearly enough. Devil food truck disease. <laughs> this is tumor. Face tumor disease? Oh, sad. Also gross. Devil facial tumor disease. Hmm. It threatens the survival of the species. It's a series of tumors that form around the face and mouth that eventually leads the devil to starvation. Ooh. It is a transmissible cancer, so contact with an infected devil can infect another one. Oh God, okay. Hmm. Yes. Uh, being hit by motor vehicles while eating roadkill also does not help. Starting in 2013, devils have started being sent to zoos around the world and part of the Australian government's Save the Tasmanian Devil program to try and breed up more devils in different places. Because mm-hmm. who else is gonna have the devil facial tumor disease? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I don't really think that's what he's on that like travels. In 2020, devils were reintroduced into mainland Australia in the Barrington Tops of New South Wales. This is the first time devils have lived on the Australian mainland in over 3,000 years. Why though? What do you mean? Well, like 3,000 years ago, I don't really think people had anything to do with them leaving the mainland. Mainly like other like animal predators. You know that the aboriginals have been around a long time. Right? Yeah, well, yeah, I know, but like they're they're not like we are now where it's like, oh, that's a thing that's kill all of them. So it's not <clears throat> in here, but its main food competitor was the thylacine mm-hmm. competing for food. Most of the time you want to take out things that are competing with you. So the, so thylacine, the thylacine was the thing that drove it out. The thylacine didn't help. Okay. All right, we're on to lore here. <clears throat> are you ready? Mm-hmm. So it's a Tasmanian Aboriginal story. I believe this is the title. I'm not terribly certain. Taraba. The Tasmanian devil explains why the creature looks and sounds the way it does today. It used to be handsome with large eyes and soft black curls and a swinging tail. Oh, there's soft black curls? <laughs> like, that just, okay. So what happened to cause this change? According to the story, the creature sought out baby animals for its prey. It would wait until the coast was clear and the parents were away. Then it would sneak in and make off the small babies. It soon had a reputation for being greedy, lazy, and cowardly. It was known as a nasty animal. There were powerful spirit helpers who lived in the bush. They helped look after the creatures in the wild. 
As you can imagine, they were not very happy with the nasty animal. One day, the nasty animal made a great mistake. While trying to grab some babies, it found it was reaching into the home of the spirit helpers instead. Mmm. It was in hot soup! <laughs> On discovering what the nasty animal was trying to do, the spirit helpers began to scold it. This caused the nasty animal's nose to become a long snout. The large eyes became even smaller. It lost its lovely fur. It developed claws on its paws and the curls fell away from its tail. Whatever a clematis is, clematis blossoms fell on its chest, causing it to become white in color. The spirit helpers said that from then on, it would be named Devil. With the changes in appearance, it would not be so easy for it to hide in the dark anymore. Its snarl would warn animals of its approach. And the Tasmanian Devil has been this way ever since. Oh, make spirit helpers angry. So that's why it looks the way it does. Some, some good lore there. <laughs> Fun facts! <laughs> oh boy. After the extinction of the thylacine, the devil became the largest carnivorous marsupial in the world. I forgot what the thylacine was a marsupial. Strange. Australia is weird, man. Even though they are solitary, they do sometimes eat and poop together in communal locations. <laughs> so they have their own little, little porta potties. <laughs> Tasmanian outhouse. Yep. <laughs> Which I'm sure it actually just more, looks more like a bush. Probably. Uh, it still needs the moon, though. It's probably real stinky back there, too. How fast do you think they can run? Mm. In short distances. Fast? Um, like 10, 15? Oh, 8? Yep. They're still fast. 13 kilometers per hour or 8.1 miles per hour for short yep. distances. Up to 16% of wild devils do not have white patches. Hmm. Devils store body fat in their tails. A healthy devil has a fat tail. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the female's pouch opens backwards. A devil's teeth slowly grow throughout life continuously. Hmm. I think it's because of what they eat. Probably. Probably. Young devils can climb trees, but it becomes more difficult the older they become. I imagine that. Yeah. Devils will bite through metal live traps. God. So, you know, the these things yep. with the door that mm -hmm. snaps up like that. Yep. If you don't understand that drawing there. No, I get it. Yep. Real, yeah! Very alien-esque. Yeah, very, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly what a Tasmanian devil looks like. <laughs> you forgot the little chest thing, though. Uh. Nailed it. All right, there you go. Now I know it's a Tasmanian devil. Devils can eat up to 40% of their body weight in 30 minutes if the opportunity presents itself. Oh God. Yeah. Fat tails. Yep. Devil milk is being researched for its potential to resist super bugs. Viruses? Or like or really large insects. Bugs. <laughs> so it could be, you know, um, these evil looking things. Or it could also be Oh, do you think that's what happened to the, um, God, what chapter of 2020 were we in when that thing happened? The, the murder hornets or whatever? Maybe somebody got a hold of a bunch of Tasmanian devil milk and drove them all away. I don't like whatever's going on here. Ugh. <laughs> Thoughts? Questions? Not really, no. Not other than the fact they can just eat through traps. Like, that's really creepy. That's it, though. Yep. Thank you, Dustin, for suggesting this. Feel free to suggest more. Anything you'd like to add? No. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye!